Uh, good morning, sir. Are you Mr. Colin Gray? Am I pronouncing your first name correctly? Yes, Mr. Gray, my name is Curry Mingledorf. I'm assigned to preside over this morning's proceeding. Uh, this is your first ap appearance hearing. Um, and at this hearing, I'm going to first going to ask you just a few a few questions, and then I'm going to advise you of your rights and, and uh, also let you know about a preliminary hearing that's been scheduled uh, for you. Um, why don't you just state your name, please? All right, pull the microphone down, please. Um, there you go. All right, and uh, how old are you, Mr. Gray? Fifty-four. And are you able to read and write and understand the English, English language without yes, any sir. difficulty? Yes, sir. Uh, how far did you go in school? Uh, 11th grade GED. Okay. Um, and I note that you have <clears throat> counsel seated with you at the table. Do you understand that you have the right to be represented by an attorney at all times uh, for this and all future proceedings in your case? Yes, sir. Um, and do you understand that, of course, if you cannot afford an attorney, that the public defender will be appointed to represent you upon your request? Yes, sir. All right. And, uh, counsel, would you identify yourself, please, for the record? Donna Seagraves. Um, we are going to have new counsel assigned to Mr. Gray later today. All right. Thank you. All right. Um, Make sure that uh, the system is working. And all right, so um, the following aren't questions that I'm going to ask. I'm just informing you of some things. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you at further hearings or at a trial on the charges that you're facing. Uh, for this hearing, you're not going to be questioned about facts and circumstances surrounding. Uh, your charges. Um, you are currently charged with, and you'll be provided with copies of the warrants if you don't already have them, you're currently charged with uh, two counts of felony murder in the second degree. Uh, you're charged with four counts <clears throat> of felony involuntary manslaughter. You're charged with eight counts of felony cruelty to children in the second degree. Now, for these offenses, uh, for the felony murder counts um, in the second degree, felony murder in the second degree, uh, the maximum in prison, the, the maximum penalty for each count is up to 30 years uh, imprisonment. For felony involuntary manslaughter, uh, of course, again, there are four counts, the maximum uh, penalty for for each of those offenses is 10 years uh, imprisonment. For the eight felony cruelty to children counts, uh, the maximum penalty under the law for each of those eight counts is 10 years uh, imprisonment. For a maximum total uh, possible uh, penalty for the charges that you currently are facing of 180 years imprisonment. If you have questions about the, these charges, which I assume that you, you will, uh, the court urges you to discuss those with your attorney. Um, let me inquire as to whether there's a motion for bond, if, if, uh, if Mr. Uh, Gray is moving for bond at this time. No, sir, not at this time. We will allow um, alternate counsel to make that decision. All right. Thank you. But I also need to inform you that you have the right to an indictment by a grand jury, um, uh, and you also uh, have the right to a preliminary hearing unless you make bond or waive uh, uh, such a hearing. You have the right to a speedy and public trial by a judge or jury. You have the right to confront and cross-examine all witnesses. You have the right to call witnesses on your own behalf and testify in your own defense uh, if you so choose. I want to make it clear to you, uh, Mr. Gray, that you are presumed innocent. Your refusal to testify at any point 
or will not, cannot be used against you in determining whether you are guilty uh, or not guilty. I mentioned the first appearance hearing a moment ago. Uh, that is uh, being set for you uh, for December 4th, 2024 at 8.30 a.m. Uh, currently that's set to take place in the Magistrate Court of Barrow County. Uh, it could be subject to change, but I just want you to know that that is the date that we currently have. In fact, counsel, could you approach, please? I have um, this, uh, let's see, I need to scratch this out. This document that discusses bond and, and gives the date of the preliminary preliminary hearing, and I guess uh, I could sign that, and he could just get a copy of it, and then the warrants are attached to that. So, that, so and I would like for him to sign it. Do you want me to go ahead and give him his copy? Yes, please. And the page continues. And are these his copies of the warrants? Those are provided and they say service copies on them, so I assume that they're for him. Okay. Sergeant Briscoe, do you concur with that? Is that what those copies are for? That's for the detention center. Those are for the detention center? So he's got his own copies or he'll have them provided? All right, so the detention center wants to hold on to those. All right, let me, uh, and thank you, Ms. Seagraves. I want to um, certainly acknowledge the presence of our district attorney, Mr. Brad Smith. And he's assisted by his chief assistant, uh, Patricia Brooks. Is there anything else, counsel, that uh, the court needs to address that I have neglected to address? No, Your Honor. No, sir, not at this time. All right. Uh, I, I do want to thank uh, those uh, who are in the gallery who have an interest and who have appeared, I appreciate the decorum that has been maintained throughout these, this proceeding, or both of these proceedings today. And with that, uh, this matter is adjourned.